What's going on, y'all? It's truly yours, Dwight James III, and this is Right with Dwight, where your pin game is your end game. How y'all doing, man? I apologize for missing the episode drop yesterday. Life was happening, but guess what? We back at it, and the show must go on. I know Valentine's Day was this week. For those that know me, I'm not a big fan of the holiday. However, I do encourage the idea of showing love to people that you appreciate and making sure that people know that, you know, you love them in all ways and all facets and all the ways that you can find love and present love to people that you do love. So I hope that you did love on somebody, whether it was today or the day before yesterday or on Valentine's Day or even just this week or this year in general. I do hope that you show someone that you appreciate them in whatever shape, form that may look like. So for, t so for today, uh, we're gonna do things slightly different. Today, we're gonna actually highlight some black photography by a photographer by the name of Guy X Photo. Um, my boy Brandon, who's based here in Atlanta, he did a uh, photo shoot concept that was around the idea of Cupid. And I really just wanted to highlight it, man, because it was such an amazing body of work. So um, here are some of the images. Definitely um, follow him on Instagram, Guy X Photo. Uh, make sure you book him, look out for him. He's always doing a lot of interesting conceptual work and uh, he builds and creates a lot of the pieces that you see and that you witness. So. Hey, show love to that black man. Show love to his black work as a black artist here in a very black city that is Atlanta. And so uh, today's prompt to build into that bridge of love is um, write about some things that you know about someone or something, right? I feel like if you don't love something, then there's no way that you can really know it per se. Um, whether that be food or whether that be a city or whether that be an experience that you've had, when you know something that nine out of 10 means that you love it. So um, I'll give you all some time to respond. How'd y'all feel about that? Did y'all write about something that y'all know <laughs> or some things that y'all know about something or someone that you love? Um, I definitely want to hear from y'all and I want to read a lot of y'all responses. So the moment that you do write something, share it with me. I'll take a look at it and, you know, we'll take it from there. But uh, here's my response. Uh, this is um, a few things I know about my dream woman. And it goes like this. She's probably funny as hell and teaches me how to take a joke daily she's taller than me and if she isn't she knows how to put me in my place she is always ready for an adventure even at 4 a.m in alaska she's smarter than me so i always have to pick her brain she is a beautiful brown woman that still needs some reminders about how beautiful how beautiful she is she is a hard catch it was no easy task swooping her off her feet she is creative and loving. She loves creating. Even if she feels like she doesn't have time, she is not perfect. She is progress. She is my superhero when I can't put on my cape. My dream woman is a dream come true. Trust me, I know. So let me know how y'all felt about that. Um, I, again, am not a crazy person about the idea of love or just celebrating it um, in like one space, but I do believe in showing love and appreciation for people that have done things for me and that look out for me and just make sure that I'm doing all that I can be to be better. And uh, before I go, I just want to let y'all know the space that I'm in uh, is the Chattahoochee Food Works. It's in the Upper West Side of Atlanta. If you have not visited this place, you should definitely come out. They have a lot of shops, um, a lot of different places to eat, which they're all great options. I'm not sure of their process, but 
they did their diligence. So um, y'all be safe, show love, do what you do and love what you do. Peace.